Hello everyone and welcome to a new life hack. This is Patrick and today I will show you a feature in Fidelity that will assist you in the setup of your Rotor Stator interface. So the boundary condition that you need to connect a stationary and a rotating domain. So for a common turbo configuration, as you can see right here, here we see an axial turbine indicating blue domains that are stationary and, um, <laughs> and red domains that are rotating. Um, this is pretty much done all automatically. So you set up your turbo configuration, you define which domains are rotating, and then via these Z constant lines, the location of your rotor stator interface is being defined. However, let's take a look at a more complex configuration which you will find quite common in radial machines. And that is a configuration that includes different um, components up or downstream of your turbo configuration. So for instance, a draft tube, some intake manifold, or as we see it right here, a volute that follows a radial compressor. And in a configuration like this, setting up the rotor stator interface can be a little more complex. And I will show you a feature um, that will assist you uh, in, uh, in doing this. All that I'm gonna show you today, you can also find in the user guide. And I invite you to take a look at the Cadence Stock Assistant. And as soon as you are on this startup page, you can just enter rotor stator. And then you will find a point right here that says create automatic rotor stator surface of revolution. And pretty much all that I'm going to show today, you will find also here. So what we are going to do is we will have some sort of turbo configuration. In my case, it's also going to be a radial compressor. We have a volute. And we will use the feature that I'm going to show to automatically create this surface of revolution for the rotor stator interface, along with some extensions for hub and shroud uh, if it is necessary. So let's get started. In our example today, we will build the setup for this configuration. That is, we have a turbo configuration that represents a radial compressor with a veinless diffuser, and we will connect it to the volute or the flow collector that you see right here. Maybe some essentials that you have to consider at the beginning. So what's actually going to happen, and I'm going to show this here in Accent, our parametric modeler from Concepts and RC. We have our compressor here. We have our volute here. And if I would run this configuration as is, the rotor stator interface would be right here, all right? However, let's say I would like my rotor stator interface to be here. So there are numerous ways to do that. I could just define the geometry like this. However, that's not always that easy. So instead, what I'm going to do is I will define my turbo configuration right up to this point where it connects to the volute. And then I will just um, remove or um, put my outlet of the turbo configuration to a different position. And then Fidelity will build the geometry for the hub extension, the shroud extension, and the rotor stator interface. This will become more clear in a minute. What I want to say is that you have to, you have to set up your turbo configuration. And, and this is important, you will have to work with your CAD, or you have to transfer your CAD of the volute, to the family tree. So without the family tree, this is not going to work. What I usually also do is I finish the mesh setup of my turbo configuration um, before I set up the connection. So if we go to the mesh setup here, as you can see, I have already fully defined and created the 3D mesh of my radial compressor. This usually makes sense because what Fidelity is going to do, it will not just create this geometry for you, 
it will also apply mesh settings to the volute depending on the mesh of your auto grid configuration again this will also be uh, becoming more clear in in a few minutes so i have transferred my volute to the family tree and what i'm going to do next is i will make sure that my rotor stator interface is let me just switch the selection mode here is at the um, at the location that i want it to be so in my case, I want the rotor stator interface to be at a radius of 0.21 meters. And I can do that by simply adjusting the outlet of my turbo configuration. So in my case, I have set it to 2.1. I can set it to any location here. And depending on the location that I choose, this is where the rotor stator interface will be. So let me just put that back to 2.1 and now focus myself on the volute. So as you can see right now, even though my turbo configuration is completely defined up to the volute, and this is important, my turbo config, uh, configuration will stop here at the radius that I just defined. And now I will create three additional boundaries. Let's just do this right here. So I click on the volute and I define three new boundaries and I will call them diff shroud. Diff is for diffuser. So for the diffuser part of the shroud uh, of the volute, diff hub. And this boundary condition right here will be used for the rotor stator interface. So I can just assign rotor stator interface for the boundary condition. And those two, I will leave them as wall. However, you have a drop down here that allows you to assign a boundary condition identity. And here I will use shroud inlet for diff shroud and hub inlet for diff hub. Let's see. And this is also the, the, the definition that you find here in the user guide. So we assign for the volute uh, boundary condition identities, shroud inlet and hub inlet. And that's pretty much all we have to do here on this side. So what Fidelity is going to do in the next step, uh, we have to do one more thing. But what Fidelity is going to do is it will close the gap here. It will create a surface of revolution for the volute and assign it to the boundary conditions that we just created here, or the boundaries that is. All right, so let's go to domain. Oops, I forgot to create the mesh setup. So you will have to create domain and the mesh setup first. Now we have a new domain here. And what I'm going to do now is I will define a connection between the outlet of my compressor stage and the boundary condition for the uh, rotor stator interface that I just uh, defined. So on the left hand side, so let's just create a new connection. I will just call this rotor stator and to the left side i will create the outlet of my compressor and here i will assign the rotor stator interface boundary that i defined in the family tree and that's pretty much all i have to do here so let's go to the mesh Maybe let me just toggle just the mesh of the auto grid configuration. Now I can go to the mesh setup of my volute. And as you can see, we still have the gap here. And we have in the tree an icon called connected mesh generations. 
here it shows me the mesh setup of my compressor and now I can simply click on prepare mesh generation and watch out to what's going to happen here so as you can see it automatically created the diffuser walls for the volute and it automatically has created a surface of revolution that will be used for the rotor stator interface. So we have connected our signal passage compressor to the 360 degrees assembly of the volute. And as you can see, it also has done some assumptions about the grid size. So you will usually have to adapt this a little bit. But for instance, if we go to the patch for the rotor stator interface, let's see. Yeah, this is a minor feature here. You have to click also on uniform, but then you can see that it automatically has created a refinement based on the cell size of your autogrid configuration. So you will also find this in the user guide. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see that the initial cell size in the global tab of Fidelity Mesh for Express is being adapted. So just take a look at this so you can see what, what is actually happening here. And that's pretty much all there is to do. Now you could adapt several settings of your mesh setup. You can change the global cell size and just create your mesh. And I will just show you the final results. So in the end, you should come up with something similar like this. Let me just activate the cutting plane. So we have created our mesh. And just to summarize, the yellow surfaces that you see here, so we have in gray our turbo configuration. And then we have the yellow surfaces that have automatically been created by Fidelity. That is the diffuser hub and shroud extension right here, the surface of revolution for the rotor stator interface, and it's perfectly matched to the position that you defined. So the outlet of your radial compressor. And here we have a cutting plane. We could probably do uh, some more work on this, but I think for a first step, this, uh, this looks quite nice. So I hope this feature is helpful. Again, um, you will maybe not need it all the time, but uh, it might make your life a little bit easier if you want to connect a volute, a draft tube, or an intake manifold to your turbo configuration. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and um, have fun trying it out yourself.